Hey guys, this is about 2012 Audi A4 Turbo Quattro, of course. And uh, there's nothing wrong with the vehicle. But I'm thinking it's a time to check cam follower. That's under this high pressure fuel pump. So first thing is the first, as you all know, it's kind of this one loose, but it comes right out. And then the next thing which you're gonna see that is a pump. This is a secondary pump, it's a high pressure pump. That is a still one more than a gas tank, but this is the one for high pressure. So the first thing what I do, uh, I disconnect power supply to it. So this is a little tank. Pull it out. It'll kind of click. You can see in that. See the little gap. And then what I do, I just kind of push it down a little bit. Just kind of pinch it with your hand and then slide it right out. And then put them on the side. See how it looks. Maybe it's pretty dark here, but that's basically disconnected now. The next thing that you want to do, um, put this on, I don't know. Sorry. Next thing that you want to do, you want to grab an old rag or something and shower it down under the pump and around here. That way, when you uh, remove the fuel supply line, it's not gonna. Uh, fuel is not gonna go all the way in there down on the floor, so it's it's under the pressure now. Just keep that in mind. You gotta have your uh, go um, eyeglasses, goggles, and then uh, all other safety gear which you need. I'm gonna remove this line uh, with the pliers. Then then there is a high pressure line down on the bottom, and if you can see down there well, but. My next step is going to be to shove a bunch of old rags around it, and then I'll remove this clamp. Okay, now I'm got. And now we'll take this little clamp, and then I just think it's under the pressure, so it's going to be a little bit of fuel. It's going to come out. So, as you see, this sprayed it, sprays it out. So I'm going to shove this rag over, like so. Holding the camera with on hand. Okay. I think the pressure is gone as far as I can figure. It's kind of hard to one hand, but it's almost out. Right, so you just slide it like that. Now you should be able to just take the hose out of there. And just slide this back a little more. Uh, you can see that now hose is free. Just kind of pry it out of there. Might be a little bit more gas coming out of there, but. There you go. So that's out. So I have this little clamps. Got to unclamp it. And I'll take one of these hex shafts that I have just leaning around and just make sure it's clean. It doesn't have any debris on or, or rust or anything. And just kind of shove it in there like that, and then uh, you can put them aside back over here or something. Okay, now, as I was mentioned earlier, see that big bolt down there in the bottom? That's a high pressure line, but should be no. See what I put the wrench on? I have a rag all the way around so it doesn't go down. So. That's loose. It should not come up with, by the hands. You guys can see it in there, but 
So I don't see no fluid coming out of there. That's gonna stay intact. Now we have that bolt over there. If you can see it. But this is the one right here. And then it's one down here. Now. If you can see. I put the camera there. Right, right there in that corner. Right, right there. If you see my finger. So those are the tubes that need to come out. Take that out. And pen. That's the one we're gonna use to take that, get them loose. All right guys, pump is out, as you see right over here. It's in a perfect condition, nothing wrong with it. So the top section, that's just how they are, so you need to worry about that. Uh, pump is just fine. But the cam followers, I'm gonna put them like this. This is brand new one from Audi dealer replacement. That is my old one that I pulled out of there. And it's nothing wrong with it at all. It's not even, there's no even scratches on them. It's in perfect condition, but did you notice the material difference in here? Quality of them? This is the old one, the existing one. Now I looked at a new one. Just a sheet metal wrapped around. And another thing is, see this little thing here? It's a lower than these. And also, it's an error. That part and that part. This is the part that's holding this thing solid and steady inside the housing. This thing is kind of looks like just a piece of sheet metal right through. It's not even welt or cut in or anything. So the brand new piece, I'm more worried about it now putting it this one in than putting my old one back in. Just looking at the quality of it. So my decision is I'm gonna go back with my old one original part because it's nothing wrong with it. But if was anything wrong with it, I still would not put this in. I'm gonna take this one back to the, to the Audi and show them difference they probably know it, but I'm gonna show them the difference that way they know. This pink is so wobbly. This one is solid, you can feel it quality. So I still wouldn't go with the new one, I still will go with the I would have to find one like this, and I'm sure it's out there. Alright, that's it for that uh, uh cam followers. Now we're gonna put this pump back. I'm gonna just wipe it outside a little bit and stuff and put it right back in the housing where it was. We will make sure that we don't over tie it. Uh, we'll follow the proper torque uh, spec for it. And then uh, um, we'll put this baby back and start up the core and move on. Thanks for watching, guys.